EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got a fun little clash in the AFC as it'll be the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Houston Texans. Tank Dell now to return it, taking it about the one. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. A man coming off a great rookie year, it's Damian Pierce. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Stroud on third down now. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. It's caught inside the 25. A gain of 32 that time. What my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. First and 10, it's Pierce. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Trey Hendrickson, the one who gets him on the ground. So from the 17, here's second and seven. And Pierce gets it again on second down. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Stroud working out of the gun. And it's caught. Touchdown, Texans. Dalton Schultz from 17 yards out. And the Texans get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. You know, as a head coach, you can't hide everything from your team. They know that people think that they're not supposed to be on the field with them. So they designed a heck of a game plan, didn't they? Nice fast start, get out after them, and maybe let everyone know that they're here to compete. And get this home crowd behind them early as well. Yeah, that's a huge part of it, isn't it? Because if you can get the home crowd involved, sometimes you can ride that wave, and that gives you a little added pep. Touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. 
And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Now a three-time 1,000-yard rusher, Joe Mixon. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. It has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up, and he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Well, they just watched the other team take the ball downfield and score, so they knew that this drive, this opening drive, was on them. And, boy, that was important to pick up that first down there and keep this one going. On two. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Going up top. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. That's on the guard, Alex Kappa. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. He gets this one to Boyd. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. going to throw again and that nearly a turnover but it's incomplete well fortunate to retain possession there and it's second down this could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive come through with another one here and you have them staring at a third and long and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense again it's Burrow on second and ten Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 37. The Bengals' passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. 
Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. The Burroughs throw complete there to Smith. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Meanwhile, Burroughs throw here into the hands of Boyd. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. So that a free 15 yards. And it's always a tough one as a defender because a lot of the penalties that you commit, pass interference, holding, when they happen, you actually know what you're doing. But a face mask penalty, a lot of times is inadvertent, but it still costs you the same amount of yardage. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. This will be caught at about the five. Now the Bengals gonna use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Mixon will take this one in. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Boy, two long, sustained drives by each team to start things out. It's kind of similar to how the pitch clock has shortened baseball games. That means we'll be out of here quickly if we get a few more drives like that. We're in the second quarter now, and we've only had one drive apiece, each of which have ended with touchdowns. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Texans with the football here late in this first half. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, just string them together. Could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. Stroud now on first and ten. Got him in. It's Brown. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Houston set to take over. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Stroud looking to throw. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Stroud off the play fake. He's going deep for Brown. This is caught inside the 15. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. 
We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. Again, it's Drown. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. There's Sam Hubbard that time in there to bring him to the ground. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7 seven, seven our score. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. Well, the first half very even. I mean, really in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Mixon with a first down carry. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. From the 42-yard line, here's second and five. Burrow will throw. Open man is Higgins. And Higgins is going to have a Bengals first down as he'll take this up close to midfield. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Here we go. 180. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Sheldon Rankins abruptly ends that play with a sack. Well, when you time those screen passes perfectly, they can work perfectly, but that time it took a little too long to develop. And you zeroed in on exactly what makes that play go. Timing. Because if the timing's off at all, those unblocked defenders coming at the quarterback, they'll put him on the deck. Burrow's throw going to be caught by Boyd. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And that's caught one more time by Boyd. And he is going to have a Bengals first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Slant pass to Boyd. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Here we go. 180. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Smith catches left side. 
Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing again, it's Burrow. Out to the left, he's got Sample there. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. A gain of three, second down. Slot man moves right. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Here we go. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Here's Burrow. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. T. Higgins, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now out comes Houston. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. So the completion good for just three. And that'll make it second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. On second down, it's Stroud toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. What can they come up with here? It's third and seven. Here's Stroud. Catch is made, it's Schultz on the out route. 
And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here goes Stroud again. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now, because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Now Stroud. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Stroud to throw it. And this one into the hands of Mechie. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another gain like that, they'll be right there in field goal range. And the tension building. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Here's Stroud. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Clemson product, D.J. Reader, got in for the sack. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has, but in his defense, he hadn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. Yeah. You see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Stroud. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. In a two-minute drill, we often talk about taking care of the football, but sometimes it's just a matter of who wants it more. How about him going up top on a 50-50 ball and taking it away for a big play? The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Now this offense cannot stop the clock now. No timeouts remaining as they come up here first down. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. This one came right down to the wire. And CD, they had that one final chance to try to navigate their way into the end zone, but couldn't get it done to avoid the loss. Yeah, and how about the defense there? Because... While they had one final look at the end zone, the defense made sure they knew what they were doing on the last play, executed it flawlessly, and no flags. Because remember, if there's a defensive penalty, there's one play left in the game that the offense gets. They didn't allow that to happen.
So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. So long from Houston.